I mean, we're going to be able to communicate more intelligently with everything in the world. And uh, one major trend is virtual and augmented reality. Um, so as we go through the world, there'll be also virtual people and virtual objects that we also interact with. And that'll be facilitated by all the actual objects being uh, imbued with sensors and intelligence. And, uh, it basically will enable us to carry out our missions uh, more intelligently. Uh, there's always intertwined promise and peril. Uh, you know, privacy certainly comes up as an issue. If everything has sensors, uh, the, the cloud is going to know where you are, for example. Well, that's already the case. Uh, but all of your intimate interactions are going to be tracked and kept. Uh, and so privacy becomes an issue. Uh, I, I think there's actually a path to maintain privacy. And I think we actually have more privacy today than we did in the past when we had just one party line and you couldn't even make a phone call and know that it was private. Uh, now we have private channels of communication. And yes, they're in the cloud, but uh, it's actually encrypted and kept private for you. And we do a pretty good job with that. And that's going to be an even more important issue in the future. Um, but we're going to be able to use our resources more intelligently. We're going to be able to provide the physical needs of, of all of humanity at a level that uh, will create great riches by today's standards in the future. Uh, look at today. Uh, the poor have amenities that the kings and queens didn't have a century ago, like flush toilets and refrigerators and radios, television, not to mention computers. And uh, clothing is very inexpensive. And all of the f when we have 3D printers, we'll print out clothing, food, even our organs. At, at almost no cost. Uh, so we'll be able to meet the physical needs of, of all of humanity for the first time and overcome sort of physical deprivation. Um, there are always dangers to these technologies. Fire, you know, burned down our houses, but also kept us warm. So, But li life today is immeasurably better than it was. And people don't realize that because uh, they kind of measure progress by how often do they hear about something that's good versus something bad. And uh, we actually have an evolutionary adaptation to focus on what's bad because, you know, 50,000 years ago when you're walking through the woods, uh, you're being able to be sensitive to maybe the rust rustling of a predator was more important than you paying attention to good news, like the fact that your crops may have been 2% better than last year. So we have an evolutionary actual sensitivity to bad news. Uh, and our information about what's wrong with the world is getting exponentially better. So there's a battle halfway around the world. We not only hear about it, we, we're like in the midst of it, and we experience it. So people think violence is getting worse. When, Steven Pinker, in his book, Better Angels of Our Nature, documents this is the most peaceful time in human history. Your chance of being killed was hundreds of times greater hundreds of years ago, when there was extreme scarcity of resources and the only way to, and very primitive social institution because our communication wasn't very good. Uh, 